Hey guys, today we're doing chapter 14, lesson 6, which is problem solving. We're going to guess, check, and revise. That's what this strategy is. So let's learn this strategy real quick. Julian has five polygons that have a total of 19 sides. Each polygon has three or four sides. What are the names of the five polygons? Number one, we have to understand what facts do we know? There are how many polygons? There are five. And a total of how many sides? 19. We also know that the polygons are triangles and quadrilaterals because there are three or four sides for each one. And what do we need to find? We need to find the names of the five polygons. Our plan is to guess, check, and revise to solve the problem. So let's solve it. We made a guess and then check, and we're going to revise if needed. So we made like a table here, and we tried with three triangles and two quadrilaterals. That number of sides ended up being 17, so that's too, too small. Um, we tried two triangles with three quadrilaterals that ended up being 18 sides, so that's also too small. One triangle and four quadrilaterals ended up being 19 sides, which is exactly correct. So Julian has one triangle and four quadrilaterals. And let's check that real quick and make sure we did it right. Let's add the sides to the, of the polygons. So we had one triangle, which is three, and four quadrilaterals. Now, if we add them together, we know this is 4 times 4, which is 16, 17, 18, 19, 19 sides. So that is actually correct, okay? So we're kind of guessing a little bit and then checking it and making sure we're doing it right. So let's go ahead and go to practicing this strategy. It says Jolene spent $23 on scrapbook supply. How many of each supply did she buy? Well, so what do we know? We know that she spent $23 on supplies. We know from our little chart over here that sticker sheets cost $2. And we know that packs of paper cost $3. So what do we need to find? How many of each supply did Jolene buy? That's what we have to find, right? So our plan is to guess, check, and revise and solve the problem just like we have been doing. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's go ahead and solve this. I gave you a couple different choices. I gave you five sticker sheets, three packs of paper, six sticker sheets, three packs of paper, and seven sticker sheets, two packs of paper. So let's add this up. So if we have five sticker sheets, that means that each one is $2, so that would be 10. Three packs of paper is nine, so we have $19. No, that's too low, so that's not going to work. What about six? Six times two is 12. Three times three is nine. 12 and 9 is 21. No, not quite. So that's too low. What about 7? 7 times 2 is 14. 3 times 3 is 9. Add those together and it's 23. There we go. We got it. We got that it's 7 and 3, right? So we know that. So let's check it real quick. Does it make sense? Well, let's see. We had 7 times 2, which equals $14, and then we had 3 times 3, which equals 9, and then if you add those together, it would equal 23, and if you went backwards, it, sh it should equal the same amount, okay? So, if you have any questions, please let me know. If not, go ahead and get started on applying this strategy, okay guys?